staff. My name is Cassie Goldberg. I'm the Assistant Director of Learning Support, and this is my counterpart today. Hello, I'm Diana Avalos, a second grade teacher at Evergreen Elementary. So this summer, um, several of our CAS grant staff members came together to prepare our district for distance learning for the first quarter. One of the groups that was formed was the Family Conference Committee, which Diana and I were both a part of. So um, the committee was set up to basically help and support you guys with preparing and setting up for your family conferences. So today, Diana and I are going to do um, a mock family conference for you. And although this can be used as a possible agenda or a how-to to set up your conference, please make sure that you work with your school to ensure that you cover all of the topics that may be pertinent for your school. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Diana is going to be the teacher today, and I am going to be the parent. Hello, welcome to Family Conferences. My name is Diana Avalos. I am your student's second grade teacher. I'm looking forward to getting to know you and your family today. Can you let me know who's there? Sure. My name's Cassie, I'm Violet's mom, and Violet's here today, but she's off to the side. She's a little bit nervous and doesn't want to get on camera right now. And unfortunately, my husband had to work, but he really wanted to join us too. Oh, well, thank you for joining me. I understand. I'm nervous too. We're all nervous and we're all new to this. So we'll get through it. Um, I just wanted to spend some time with you talking about our plans for distance learning this quarter. We're going to review what a typical week is going to look like for Violet. Um, we're also going to look at how the first day is going to run. Good. That is perfect because she's so nervous about distance learning this year. And to be honest, so my, um, my husband and I both work full time, so we're really struggling on how to best support Violet throughout this first quarter. That's okay. You are not the only family that's nervous. It's very common for everyone to be kind of on edge about this whole new distance learning. Um, but before we begin talking about the schedules, I just wanted to talk to you about the, the technology. Um, Violet will be getting her own Chromebook and we will be distributing them on August 5th at 5 p.m. You can also find this information and more on the district website. Um, and you should also think about following our school website on Facebook so you can also be up to day with the information through there. Um, during device pickup time, you're going to receive information on how the technology will be provided and you will be asked to fill out some paperwork. Each school is distributing technology and completing beginning of the year paperwork at different times and in different ways. Please ensure you know your school schedule in order to provide the correct information to parents. I'm really happy um, that the district's going to be providing Violet with a computer. That's going to be really helpful, so thank you. Um, but will it be safe for me to come in and get Violet's computer? Our staff and families is our top priority during device pickup. We have procedures in place to protect you and to support social distancing, and we will be sanitizing and cleaning everything. We ask that you please limit the number of people you'll be bringing and make sure you have a mask throughout the whole pickup process. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I totally understand that. So um, I'll be able to pick up the device during that designated time and then I'll be able to leave Violet at home with her dad. So that will work out really well. Awesome. I'm glad. Now I just want to show you what a typical week of distance learning will look like. This will look much, much different than it did in the spring. Each school and teacher will have slightly different weekly plans to share with their parents. Please ensure you take the time to go over this and answer any questions they may have. Do you have any questions about our weekly distance learning plans? Yeah, what happens if Violet isn't able to log in during those designated times that you have? So parents may have questions about the weekly plans and you might be unable to answer some of those questions, but that's okay. Be honest, let them know that you don't have the answer at that moment. Let them know that you're writing down their questions and that you'll get back to them as soon as possible. That's a great question. We're looking into the option to record our sessions for our kiddos that are unable to make each live session and they'll be able to watch it later. I do not have all the specifics just yet, but as soon as I do, I'll make sure I let you know. Great, thank you. 
Now I want to share the schedule and how to look on the first day of school. We're going to begin our first day of distance learning on August 17th. Share with parents any online platforms, usernames, passwords, ink, anything that you'll be using that they may need on their first day of school. Each teacher will have a slightly different schedule for the first day. Like the weekly plan, please ensure you know and you take the time to go over it. Thank you for showing me the weekly plan. Um, I remember logging into Google Classroom last year, but Clever, I think, is new to me. So I'm a little nervous about helping Violet navigate some of the new platforms that you're going to be using this year. This will be a learning experience for all of us, so please don't freak out. I'm here to support you in any way that I can. Throughout the week, I will be holding office hours, and that's additional time for you to come in and ask any questions or if you need any extra support. That is going to be really helpful, so we will definitely be taking advantage of that. Good. In addition to tech support, what other supports do you think Violet and your family will need in order to be successful with this distance learning? Honestly, we're really just trying to figure out how to have Violet home all day when both of us are working. She's obviously really young and isn't able to stay at home by herself and we don't know how we're going to ensure that she's following a weekly schedule um, when we're not going to be home. And so any help with that is going to be really appreciated. That's very understandable. She is definitely too young to be logging in on herself. Um, but the good thing is there's some flexibility with the weekly schedule and we can talk about that more when I get some more information with that. There's gonna be options to support our families who work during the day and aren't able to help their child or who are a little concerned about supervision. Thank you. So the district is working on guidance for both of those questions and a lot more. So again, if you're unable to answer the question that the parents have, remind them that their concerns are valid, that our district is here to support them with any needs that they have during distance learning. Thank you so much for participating in our family conference today. Before we get off, I just want to provide you with my email so we can keep into contact. Um, and I also want to confirm your email and your phone number. Please make sure you're checking your email because you will be receiving emails from myself and from the district, some how-to documents and information with technology and all that good stuff. I really look forward to working with you and your family this year, no matter how the school year looks. Have a good night. Thank you, you too. Um, yes, I'll definitely give you my phone number and my email address. And I really appreciate you meeting with us because I'm feeling a lot better about our distance learning. And I know Violet sitting over there, she is as well. So thank you. conference is going to go as smoothly as the one that Diana and I just did. So um, we're really just hoping that this mock conference gives you a framework and a starting point for how you could structure your family conferences. But just remember, these conferences are really a time for you to build relationships with your students and their family and to ease some of the worries that they may have right now regarding distance learning. There's going to be a lot of mixed emotions and there have been for, um, from our community. So we wanna make sure that you don't take those emotions personally. Um, just remember and remind your parents that everything that our district is doing right now is really for the safety and health of our students and our staff members. Um, if for any reason your, your family conference becomes unproductive or uncomfortable, feel free to end that conference. And you can even offer for the parents to have a second family conference when either your principal, your TOA, or your assistant principal can join you. We wanna thank you for participating and watching our um, video today. So 
we want to wish you the very best of luck for your family conferences and for the beginning of your new school year. Bye. Thank you.